very honored to be here. Thanks, guys, for having me. I'm recovered from that first round loss. <laughs> well, guys, well, we really appreciate you uh, joining us here. Uh, you know, just maybe give us a little bit about uh, your insight because you're a professional athlete as well as a uh, CEO for Problematic Esports. So I'm sure folks at home are wondering, how do you manage such a busy schedule? Um, during the summer, it's a little easier. Uh, <laughs> during the hockey season, I kind of let let cap handle a little more but um no it's it's actually a nice balance just to kind of when you're done at the rink just to have something you know to work on and um it's fun fun to meet new people and connect with um especially these top players so um yeah it's it's been fun so far and i mean it's hasn't been hasn't been too distracting (laughs) i like to think you know, Casimir, I'm I'm curious. I'm a goaltender myself, not nearly as skilled as you are, and I think that's pretty clear. Um, but I'm wondering if you take anything from your experience in NHL 20 and try relay that to your work on the ice. Yeah, I mean, I've I've tried to uh, play as a goalie a little bit more um, after joining the um, the goalie guilds goalie guild gaming club um and just kind of hear from the best pl- goalies in the in nhl 20 kind of what they have to say and um i get embarrassed when i play as a goalie it looks at, and i guess i get embarrassed when i play versus as well like like gab's that just just completely demolished me in the first round but um to me it's just kind of like fun to uh especially kind of keep up with the rosters maybe during the season you don't have time to uh, kind of look around other teams and who they have and then when you play some versus games against different teams you kind of have a better idea of like the the real roster so mm. uh but yeah as of as of um real life goaltending to esports goaltending there hasn't been any any help being a real life goalie <laughs> Well, I certainly feel you there because for all the time I put on the sticks, it has not helped my game on the ice either. So, um, you know, I'm wondering, how did you get involved with esports in the first place? Um, I've always been a huge NHL gamer. Um, always. Uh, I feel like that's that's been my number one game ever since I got my first whatever, PlayStation 1. And um so it kind of it was fun to involve so so called my status in hockey and like the connections that way and then uh with caps connections in in the hockey esports world it was i feel like it was a good combo and um it's it's been fun trying to make myself play better that way and learn from these guys and um so yeah it's just kind of like the off ice passion for me that's that's always been there so um i feel like it was the right time to pursue that as well with problematic we're chatting with problematic esports ceo and uh toronto marley's goaltender casimir kaskasuo uh casimir before we let you go just a couple more things and again we really appreciate you um jumping on and and joining us here today um, in terms of what we're doing today, this special memorial tournament in honor of uh, Reki, I was just wondering if you wanted to uh, speak to that at all. Yeah, I mean, I, I never had a chance to uh, talk to Reki myself, and but from what I've heard this last last week here, it's he's was the, one of the better guys for sure. So uh, everybody loved him and had nothing but good things to say. So we. We were hoping to put our our gamers and our team together here and try to do something good for their family and um, way keep Reckie's memory alive and um, you know just it's been awesome so far. Yesterday's own the blue tournament had a good good vibe to it and also today with this with this tournament here. So uh, just hoping to raise some money, have some fun, and keep the keep wrecking our thoughts well we certainly appreciate the uh efforts made on behalf of problematic esports and and one last thing before we let you go how are you staying busy are have you been able to get on the ice during this time have you been able to keep training or have you just kind of been playing a lot of nhl 20 
<laughs> yeah, I guess I would like to say that playing playing the NHL 20 is going to help me on the ice, but I don't think that's that's going to happen. But uh, yeah, actually, last week was the first time I, I was able to get on the ice with just a couple players and uh, definitely felt a little out of shape, but it was that's how it always is when you're gone for a couple months. But um, yeah, just it's not ideal, of course, working out at home and kind of doing doing what you can without having access to a gym. But um, yeah, being able to skate here for a couple of weeks has definitely helped. And um, like I said, trying to do everything I can at, at home and looking forward to uh, the training camp starting on July 10th. So um, some extra motivation there. So hopefully, hopefully stay sharp and be ready for that. Well, absolutely fantastic stuff, Casimir. We can't uh, thank you enough for taking the time to join us. Uh, if folks want to follow along, maybe connect with you on Twitter, how can they get in touch with you or follow you? Um, I think Twitter is usually a pretty good good place to do that. Uh, I, I always also try to stream as much as much as I can as a as a father to a year and a half old. So. Uh, that's been pretty rare, but yeah, definitely the Twitch channel is there and um, Twitter is also good. And um, yeah, so hit me up if you have any gaming, gaming stuff or whatever. And um, I'll definitely try to follow up with the tournament here you guys got going on and um, whatever else we're going to have on the um, agenda for the, the recce, recce fundraiser here. Oh, absolutely great stuff. Kazmir Kaskasuo, goaltender for the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Toronto Marlies, and the CEO of Problematic Esports. Kazmir, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, and uh, enjoy, guys.